May 14th, 2023. I don't know what time it is, like 8 p.m. or something. There are three aircraft visible, one moving, which I believe is a drone, but it's an aircraft. One stationary, which must be a drone. Actually, two stationary. So, one very bright one, right above the pole there, obviously. And then another dimmer one uh, in between the two poles. I can see it on the screen. Don't know if it'll show it up in the final video. And it might show up on the uh, the pulse resolution video, maybe not if it's reduced quality, I can see it. And then there's the other one. Very clearly stationary drones, not stars. They're easier to capture when it's not super dark, the cameras seem to handle the lighting better when it's not super dark out. It's just dusk right now. That's the dazzle light. So that's what the red lighting looks like. There's the street light and there's other light shining on the parking lot. Sun set over in that direction, which is the west. And uh, drone. Now I'm over right on 60th Avenue. So there's a moving aircraft, possibly the same one, just looping around. Possibly a different one. There is another moving aircraft right up there. Now it's blinking. There's the, one of the moving aircraft right underneath one of the fainter drones. There's the brighter drone. And then there's another drone visible over this uh, antenna and to the, towards the tree. There's a, a, a ray from that lamp. So the ray is pointing right at the drone. Now it's right underneath the drone. And, uh, and then, of course, there's the bright drone. So there's one, two, three in a row. And they do seem to be showing, all three of them seem to be showing up on the camera. And then there's the moving one. And then there's the other moving one. Wait, no, that's another stationary one. And there's four. That was kind of a reddish color. It won't show up reddish on the phone, but it's a little reddish to the eye. Not bright red, but reddish. So, one, two, three, four stationary drones visible and showing up on the I think they're all going to show up on the camera and there's the moving one one of the moving ones it's getting dark so now it's, as it gets dark it's harder to see these because the camera has a harder time adjusting the lighting harder to see them on the camera now you can see the moving one and the stationary one in the same shot. Sixtieth and Northeast Gleason. Walking down 60th. I don't know if these are going to show up, but I see more. So here's one. You can see one over the trees. That's a drone. 
There's that bright one right above the light. Now, I just saw a bunch of more. I don't see them now. There's two moving ones, both visible. It's busy sky tonight. The blinking ones are moving. I saw a bunch in a, in a row, but it looks like maybe they aren't visible anymore. They do turn on and off sometimes. There's another blinking one. Is it moving? Oh, there's a stationary one. There. There's, it's going to be too faint to show up, but there's a stationary one next to the blinking one. There's those two moving. Wait. One's moving. The other's stationary. And then there's one right about to fly right over my head. No, are they both moving? I can't tell. I think one's stationary. One's flying right over my head right there. Yeah, one's stationary. It just The other one just passed it. So that's a stationary one. Just passed by another one right over the roof. There's one right overhead. It's moving pretty slow, actually, compared to how they can move. Oh, and there's a bunch. I see three right there. They won't. They're too faint to show up now. So they're starting to. It's starting to see more of them. I really don't think any of these are stars. This one to me, I don't know if it's an illusion. It kind of seems like it's moving to me, but I can't tell for sure. They're so high up, it's hard to tell, but sometimes they do so. This, this one usually does, so this, I think this bright one is the one that I see quite a bit. And it does move, it drifts. It moves slowly. And there's one right over the roof there. Oh, there's three in a row. Boom, boom, boom. Faint but visible. I don't see them on the camera. They're, not, they're barely showing on the camera. I won't show up on the final video, but they're visible. Okay, here's a cute little thing. So you see an aircraft, which I think is a drone, moving across the sky, and then there's a stationary one. Big, that's the bright one. Oh wait, the stationary one's moving. They're both moving. One's bright and one's dim. It's possible one's close and one's far away. It does look like maybe that's going on, but it just might be bright and dim too. At first it looked like one was standing still, but maybe it was just my error. So they're moving apart from each other, but they're not blinking, right? They're both got steady lights. That's See, I think I got it mixed up with that one. That's still standing it's pretty stationary. So I don't know what the rules are for aircraft and lights. I think so there's, wait, that one's standing still. Was that one the one that was moving a second ago, or is it a different one? See, I just turned around. It's in the same part of the sky. It's reddish colored. But it's stationary. It looked like one of the ones that was moving. 
So that was a little cute little trick. I don't know what exactly happened there. I was just thinking, actually, as I was walking over here, when I first was figuring, once noticing these and observing these, there were all kinds of little tricks that they were playing with them. Um, there's another one moving right by the tree. Like, there was this thing where they made it seem like there was like a mothership sort of thing going on where I would see a drone and it looked like little, at one point when I just was figuring out that these were here in the sky, um, it looked like a, little baby ones were like kind of coming out of the larger one, which I didn't think would really be happening, but that's what it looked like. I was trying to figure out what that was about. I have a feeling that was just an optical illusion. They were playing tricks on me. Um, so probably what it was was you know, a brighter one with dimmer ones behind it. You know, when they're off, when they're not lit up, you don't even know they're there. So it was, it was an optical illusion. It's like these, you know, fake, there's fake constellations too that they create with these that are optical illusions. Um, that's been the whole thing I mean one of the frustrations with this whole scenario that I've been in is that sometimes I get good information and sometimes I get tricked and they just all of this gets mixed up together it's kind of the name the way things seem to work so um, it's frustrating because People tend, if you say something or you act on something, some piece of information that's wrong, you've been tricked, people think that you're either stupid or delusional or a conspiracy theorist. Or, you know, not, not that maybe you've been making observations and got something wrong, and got something wrong because you were deliberately tricked. Another thing they've done is um, create a shooting star effect. I haven't figured out how they do that. Um, that almost might be, it's almost like an animation or something, maybe, I don't know. It looks like a, a, a star shooting across the sky, but it's somehow done with these drones. When I say animation, I mean maybe like a, you know, a lighting effect of several drones, one after the other. Because, I mean, these things are all mathematically controlled. So, anyways... Yeah, I mean, considering that time has been of the essence, it is a bit frustrating. That I mean, I'm glad that I get help, so I can't be too frustrated about it. But it's frustrating that they would play tricks on me. Um, and some of the tricks also are pretty bad as far as... I think some of the things, the tricks that they played in me had to do with Chris. Things that weren't correct and caused conflict between Chris and I. And Chris is one of those people that, you know, is dubious to begin with. And if I did get something wrong or something wasn't really wasn't plausible, and I didn't necessarily know that at the time, um, it just caused more disruption in our relationship, which I didn't, we didn't need because other people were deliberately causing disruption in our relationship. So, um... But to me, all of this is really unfamiliar because I always thought, you know, here I am, like, reading stuff like Sun Tzu and all of this kind of thing. I'm thinking that when, you, when you're in a conflict or you're facing a conflict, you should do everything you can, first of all, to avoid the conflict. But second of all, if you are going to get into a conflict of some type, you have, to, you have to do everything you can to win as quickly as possible and as decisively as possible. You know, and you put all your energy into that. That's what you have to do. And everybody around me was like trying to foil that. And more confusingly, the people that I thought would be supportive of me, like my own family members, have been trying to foil it. And I didn't necessarily, I didn't, I didn't necessarily know that. I didn't know that. Um, didn't know that for years. 
It just didn't, it just doesn't, it defies logic. There's the drone again, right one. And I'm still, I mean, just talking about it, it's really upsetting that, 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 that it's gone down like that and that people think that this is normal. Like, and I can't, I cannot decompress or, you know, sort of, um, I can't, I can't, what do you call that when you're just trying to go through over something like something horrible happened and you're trying to go over it and figure it out and, and understand why it happened. I can't do that because people are still lying to me to this day. They're still lying to me and still trying to trick me every so often. I mean, it took a, it took a full four years from anything to start making headway in terms of anybody trying to like do anything that I could see that was actually not trying to trick me and mislead me. A full four years after I discovered, you know, the basics of what was going on, that there was a, you know, an underground system keeping Chris and later I understood me and Chris both from getting anything done at all. So whoever taught people that that's a, like a good idea that you should like go back and forth or try to thwart somebody. I mean, you, you're only doing, that's like, that's the name of the game when you want to profiteer from war, when you want to extend wars, when you want a lot of people to die, right? That's what, that's what our country has been doing. Pretty much, not just the government. It's not just the government. You can't blame the government for this because the people have been doing this. When they, in this particular situation with Chris and me, the people have been doing this. Maybe, I don't care if you've been paid for. I mean, the government does it because they get paid too. We're talking about extending wars, fighting unnecessary wars, creating conflicts when you don't need to have conflicts, extending conflicts, you know, increasing body counts, destroying lives because somebody's going to make money from it. <laughs> 